your boy, Fudor Fox. Okay, I'm back on the move. We're heading to London again today and we're on our way from Birmingham Moor Street to Marleybone, London. Okay, um, follow us guys. So guys, first of all, good morning. I am tired. Um, I didn't get much sleep last night. Had a bit of a weird moment. <laughs> I'm not gonna um, explain that one. It's early morning, uh, just after nine, but I'm on my way back to London. So guys, I'm not gonna do much vlogging on the train. I'm gonna try and get some sleep, so I've got some energy. Um, and then when I'm there, I will continue the vlog and keep showing you what's going on on the streets. Um, it might be raining when we get there, I'm not sure, but we'll see. You know, guys, catch you soon. So guys, we just come off the train. Um, and we're in uh, London, Marylebone. People say it in so many different ways, but that's what it is. Um, the station is definitely a lot more calm compared to uh, Euston Station. Um, uh, anyway, we're on our way to Wembley. That's where our travel lodge is. That's where we're going to be staying. We're going to drop our bags off and then um, pretty much just hang around the area, see what's there and come back, check in for three o'clock and then head out to the Sky Garden. Okay guys, uh, we've just come off the underground train and we're about to go on to the overground um, which is the better looking train, it's just pulled up right now. I will continue with what I'm saying in a second, I just want to make sure I get on the train without falling or anything. But anyway, guys, travelling in London is hectically confusing at first with the different zones and stuff but you know I'm slowly working it out. Um, the plan is to come here more regularly and get this stuff locked down. So guys, um, behind me is the stairs leading up to the Wembley Stadium. As you can see there, the big arch um, I was just speaking to one of the um, constructors that kind of um, done some of the work, him and his team, um, and he was telling me that it took them eight days to knock it down, I would say. Um, and so all of this area here and all of that area there, the stairs and all of this stuff, the buildings that were here before, in, they were contracted to get it done in 10 days um, and you know the neighbors obviously were making a big fuss of that but they managed to pull it off in eight days um, they had machines that were about 100 ton you know eating into the concrete and the steel and so they pulled it off guys and so the modern Wembley Stadium that you see here today it looks awesome from the from the outside. I have not yet been on the inside at all ever, but hopefully one day I will. But as for now guys, just a little bit of history. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't recording when the guy was speaking to me. I really should have done it, but you know, I'm an amateur. But anyway guys, um, that is a little bit of the history of the Wembley Stadium. Going on guys so we're back out um, still in London it's day two of the four day stay or three nights day four days staying um, in London um, we are in Erling right now or Earling depending how you want to say it uh, we just come from the Wembley travel lodge actually there's actually two two travel lodges in the Wembley area and 
in saying that I'd have to say I'd have to update you on a little story um, but it's kind of my area to be fair um, when we got to uh, Wembley Central I just done a quick Google search for uh, Travel Lodge Wembley and it took me to Travel Lodge um, dropped our bags off there in the luggage room because uh, we, we would have to return to go for the three o'clock check-in and lo and behold after we've done a little bit of uh, how can I say sightseeing we come back to realize that we we're at the wrong travel lodge and we have to jump on um, the train the overground and it was about about 26 minutes away from that travel lodge uh, through the entire journey but we made it in the end and um, pretty much here we are so <laughs> we spent our first night <coughs> there and now as I was saying we're in Erling and um, we're on our way to central London um, uh, actually we want to go to Hyde Park that's where we're gonna go now um, and guys I will update you on more and give you more of a breakdown so that you don't make some of the errors that I made um, when you come into this part of London um, and to be fair it's easily avoidable it's just don't fully rely on Google to give you the absolute location of where you're going um, I mean I could have easily sorted that out myself and checked my booking I've even got the Charaba Lodge app and which tells me the hotel but you know doing shortcuts but nothing lost other than about 25 minutes really so it's all good and in saying that there's more I want to tell you about um, the Oyster card when you enter into London for the first time but we'll continue that in another section okay guys um, I'll catch up with you So we're about to get on the Piccadilly line. Um, just waiting for the overground. Again, we're at North Ealing. Just passing over to platform two. Not much to show you here, guys, but yeah, we'll get back to you soon. towards Hyde Park Hyde Park if I didn't pronounce that properly um, just making my way out up the escalators not gonna film all these guys you know the score because it's just escalators but, um, here we go look how steep that is oh that is mental I don't know if you can even capture that there um, it's crazy Anyway guys, see you shortly. Okay guys, so we are on our way out. Um, the sun is shining don't know if you can see it blue skies feels like I'm on holiday technically I am but <laughs> realistically no I'm not I'm in London not quite a holiday unless you're from outside the country anyway guys just let me get my bearings I'm gonna try and find my way have a look at the sat nav make sure I'm in the right direction We're here guys, Hyde Park, Hyde Park corner, as it says above the little archway there. Um, I don't think I've ever been here before guys, so I, it's just gonna be a new experience. I'm just gonna be recording. Um, we'll be making myself, making my way to um, 
Buckingham Palace at some point along this journey, this walking tour. Um, yeah, so obviously I'm gonna show you guys that. But let's uh, get to walking. I'm gonna try and wear this out. So what, what are we doing? Heading towards uh, Buckingham Palace. See these Boris bikes? They're not electric, are they? No. Would be helpful if they were electric, to be honest. It just makes the uh, journey easier. Decent day as well, isn't it? I mean guys, it would have been nicer if we came well into the summer, but I didn't have the annual leave um, availability to use, so um, it's what it is. It's like coming up too close to the end of September. You know, you just gotta make use of what you have. That's how it goes, especially in the UK. So what that guy's doing might be homeless sorry i don't go out my way to shoot homeless people i've just seen him with his head down i was kind of wondering what was going on anyway this park is quite nice quite chill So guys, if you want a nice little walk around in London, um, Hyde Park is looking to be somewhere worth having a, a nice stroll. And then you can just take the long uh, path heading towards uh, Buckingham Palace. I think there's markings around somewhere where you can kind of see how far away it is from where you are. I'm, I've not quite seen it yet, but I've heard that there are markings somewhere if i see it i'll let you know guys but for now i'm just going to let the camera roll so you can just have a look at what's uh going on in this park it looks nice totally green fresh clean okay uh kensington gardens is pretty much down that way but what we're going to do is try and take the street route so we can probably see more going on and then make our way round so just outside Hyde, Hyde Park parallel and uh, going on to the main road a lot more energy going on This is what I prefer guys, more than the park. I do like parks um, in my own time, in my own space. But in reality, it comes to traveling. I like to see people, energy, places, infrastructure, all of that great stuff. Um, and then the interactions are better as well. You meet up on random people um, and it's easy to ask for directions as well when you get lost. So, um, Guys, there we go. British feel when you come down here. Feels cool.
a nice looking building there with a little front garden kind of a thing the home of the black cabs all right we're stepping into the shade now because these buildings here are blocking the beautiful sunlight that is there and um, it's gonna get a bit cooler as well but yeah guys if you got any spare change you can come to one of these shops here and uh, buy one of these cars you know if you're a tough youtuber and you got a spare part of change you can uh, always buy one of those 